Hello everybody and welcome to Lush and Salty Aquariums. My name is Stefan and thank you for coming to my channel. I told myself I was gonna make this video whether the outcome was good or bad and I looked at it as a bit of an experiment, if you will, a, a project. The 135 gallon uh, display tank that you see right here, and I've showcased this uh, wonderful aquarium in various videos, some quite recently actually, is being lit by two Kessel A360 Tuna Suns. A360X actually is the proper name, or Tuna Sun, which is a high-end lamp made by Kessel, obviously, there's their name. I first came into uh, knowledge about this high-end maker, manufacturer of lighting for both reef and freshwater systems when I was in California and I had my uh, marine, my mixed reef aquarium, which actually was housed in this same cabinet. Um, and when I came to Chicago, I, let, I sold the acrylic aquarium that was in this cabinet and had a glass one uh, made for me with the intent of creating essentially what you're looking at here uh, with the window reflection notwithstanding a wonderful heavily planted display tank for creatures such as angelfish and rainbow fish among others. Would I light this with what was one of the many questions and while I had Kessel lights on the marine system in California I wondered if they would be appropriate for lighting the system I just showed you. Kessel does have um, freshwater lights, including the one that I'm talking about here, as well as um, the marine systems. And they're quite expensive, and you could read about the, the reasons why they're quite expensive on their website, which is uh, fairly concise and informative. It has to do with all the things you would expect from uh, high-end technology, lumens, wavelength, um, various features and controllability, and all those things. Um, the, the folks that helped me set up this display tank, a company called Tank It Easy here in Chicago, um, one of the few and uh, well-known within this region for uh, helping hobbyists as well as businesses and the like set up larger aquariums. I'd say, uh, if I remember what they told me, about 75% of their business is uh, saltwater, but I went to them for a freshwater system and they were um, ready, willing, and able to help me out. And when we talked about lighting and the two lamps ultimately would be housed uh, underneath when you open up that lid there, it would be two of these. And they gave me the option and I, um, <laughs> I sort of gave away a bit of the surprise, I suppose, but they said, would you like to have, uh, you know, LED strip lighting or Kessels? And I said, so Kessel, I had that in California. Um, I know they're known for creating that shimmer. And the shimmer is one of the um, pseudo iconic attributes of this light. In other words, uh, it creates sort of the, the effect of light kind of rippling through the water as if you were snorkeling or scuba diving and you see that sort of shimmer. Well, Kessel uh, does deliver that. The irony is in this tank, it's not really happening because I happen to have a whole bunch of top water plants, floating plants, frog bit, and that uh, mitigates the shimmer to say nothing of the reflection in, uh, behind me. But still, I had a positive experience with my Kessels in California. The two lamps lit a heavily uh, stocked mixed reef aquarium and the corals grew well and the fish looked beautiful. And uh, I wanted to splurge for myself. And so rather than just put a couple strips up there, which 
believe me, you can spend the same amount of money on those as, as most of you already know. I opted for the Kessels and I never looked back and they set them up and six months in, <clears throat> one of them was malfunctioning. And herein lies the key plot point for this video, why I have their website open and why we're looking at this product specifically. Well, I couldn't show you or talk about the science. You can certainly uh, read about it, as I said, as well as um, probably find imagery about that so-called shimmer. And it's legit, it really does happen. I had a malfunctioning lamp, right? And so they're about four, between four and $500 a lamp. And so if you have two or three under the hood there, that's quite a, quite an investment and I have two and honestly I wish I had three kind of but uh, I have two they're doing a pretty pretty darn good job uh, I have very good plant growth although I'm not trying for anything challenging in there it's um, you know swords hygrophilia cryptocorn and the floating plants and some veil uh, they do a wonderful job and before the floating plants came in the shimmer uh, was there and everybody commented on it and I was happy but I wanted the floating plants for uh, helping to re remove toxins from the water as well as I love the uh, look of them and the cover that they provide for the fish and the interesting top water architecture that they enable so the light broke and what to do, right? I knew it was under warranty. You get a two-year warranty with Kessel. And I figured, okay, here it goes. I'm gonna do the email. I'm going to read how to get a refund or a replacement rather. And it's gonna be, um, no offense, a clusterfuck. That's just what I assumed. And I found their email address uh, pretty quickly as well as the troubleshooting section on the website and i said okay well that's kind of cool i'll uh, troubleshoot it and they gave you a sort of step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on what to do to sort of rule out what could be wrong with the light long story short we determined and uh, by we i mean me that it was most likely the power pack which would be the attachment that goes from the lamp itself down into the power source and the electricity in your cab in your down there, right? And the way I determined that was by switching plugs and lamps with the one that was still working with the one that wasn't and until I could rule out what, what it was and what it wasn't. Um, the lamp, the faulty lamp would light when I used the other power cord and it didn't work right with the one that it uh, was originally attached to. And through simple detective work like that, I determined it was the power cord. And I got all that from the pretty simple uh, instructions, if you will, from their website. So I wanted to get a replacement and I sent an email off and because I'm an impatient sort of OCD aquarium addict, I have that gene, it's in my DNA, I want what I want and I want it now. I also found their uh, telephone number and it had the um, you know California area code, it wasn't an 800 number and they are in the United States and they're ironically 10 miles from where I used to live in Marin County there in Richmond, just across the Richmond Bridge. And I said, what the hell? I picked a work day, middle of the day, and I just picked up the phone and called them. I fully expected to get a robot and, and go through some motions and ultimately be directed back to the website. But lo and behold, a human being answered within two or three rings, a woman named Morgan. And she said, this is Kessel, how may I help you? And I told her, well, you know, this is my lamp busted after six months and I don't know quite what to do. I think it's the power cord. And she said, well, I assume you 
tried our sort of troubleshooting tips from the website and I said, yes, I did. And that's how I came to my conclusion. And she said, well, I think your conclusion is the correct one and we'll send you either a new cord or an altogether uh, new lamp kit. But you have to do a couple things. And one of the things was, well, you need to make a video describing uh, the problem you had and you know what you did and that's about it. And it can be fairly uh, naive video. Obviously, it wouldn't be any fancier than what I'm doing for you guys here, uh, which <laughs> given those reflections and all the other flaws in my video graphic abilities uh, would suffice, she said. Give us a serial number from the lamp itself, which is, you know, right, you can find it easy peasy and the receipt for uh, payment. And so I went to my Tank It Easy bill from when they helped me set up the aquarium and I found that and I got the serial number. I sent it off to them in an email. I created a one minute video, sort of a Reader's Digest version of this. And I said, can I have the lamp in time for Mother's Day? I'm having, you know, some family over. And she said, yeah, I think we can, I think we can make that happen for you. And I said, well, that's terrific. Are you going to send me a new cord or a new lamp? And she said at first, you know, I'm not sure, but one way or another, we're going to make you happy. We're going to get you right again. And I said, that's all I could ever hope for. And thank you for being a live person and not some sort of robot redirecting me to the website, in which case she laughed and, uh, I got my lamp on Friday before Mother's Day. And uh, sure enough, it was the power cord. I put it up. I got to keep the other lamp, which essentially still works. There it is right there. And I've got uh, the new one up and in this kit here, but now I've got three lights. In theory, I could set them all up, except that I have a faulty cord. But uh, at the end of this video, which is where we're at right now, what I wanted to say is, I don't know if these things are genuinely better than the high-end lights you might get from a Chihiro's or um, ADA's uh, brands that they, what, what's it there, not Twin Star. You know, you could spend the same amount of money for very high-end lights from those manufacturers. The thing is, one's in Japan, I believe, and the other one's in China. Um, I could be wrong, but Asia in general, Southeast Asia or Asia proper, and navigating their websites are um, much more brutal. They might look pretty, but most of them have been sort of uh, AI interpreted Japanese or AI interpreted Chinese or Malaysian or, or or what have you so the English is jarring not how you and I would talk and there's no real uh, way to just call them up right and if you did uh, you'd go nowhere fast and the beauty of dealing with Kessel in my view the light, let's just say everything's even, you know, you could spend a thousand bucks for a high-end system from the other manufacturers. But if you had a problem with it, that's where I think the huge Kessel advantage comes from. Not so much the shimmer, which is wonderful, or the sleek, beautiful design, which is wonderful. Uh, everything can and will break. They said the power cord might have malfunctioned due to, you know, humidity. Uh, or something during the installation, maybe something uh, uh, is impeding the connectivity between the two cords and what whatnot. I, you know, it sort of doesn't matter because I was more interested in the solution. And the solution is so wonderful and old school for such a high tech company. I like call a number in the United States, a human being answers the phone, she tells me her name, when I called her back, she's also there again, picks up, knows my case, gave me the status, told me I'd be uh, good for Mother's Day. The light came like in two day or one overnight, didn't pay for any of that. They uh, they said what they did and they and they did what they said, right? It, it was a really good experience. 
And so if you don't want to have to deal with, a, you know, your aquarium shop where you might have bought your twin star and have to, you know, bring your light back to them and hope that they will honor a warranty uh, and given how slim their margins are, you know, they may or may not, who knows, doesn't matter because with Kessel, I was able to do it with just my phone, right? I made a one minute video and I made an email and a couple phone calls and I got my new lamp and they didn't ask for the other one. They didn't ask for any more proof or other issues. And I think uh, in this day and age, that's pretty wonderful. And I wanted to share it with you. Um, I made a mental promise that if it went, so it went poorly or positively, I was gonna make some form of video because these are really expensive lights and I want you, you know, I want to share my experience given that's what I purchased. And if this helps you in terms of making your decision one way or the other, I think that's awesome. So that's all for now, folks. And oh, <clears throat> I got a bit of a spring cold here. That's why I sound like this. Um, not that my ordinary voice is uh, anything uh, splendid, but beg your pardon there. But um, thank you for watching. And I hope you appreciated the story and uh, know how happy I am in the end. Okay, everybody, always keep your hands in the tank. Ciao for now.